Hi, my name is Kateřina Kanyukova. I'm an educator and consultant in the field of equal opportunities, gender and diversity and work-life balance policy. Introduction to the age diversity. Diversity means heterogeneity and variety. Diversity not just tolerates all differences, but views them positively. The labor market discrimination exists because of gender, health condition and also age. The European Union is aging both from the top and from the bottom of the age pyramid. Due to affordable health care, people live longer while fewer children are born. A large percentage of unemployed in the European Union are also young, recent graduate for secondary schools and universities. It is necessary and important to maintain the age diversity, which treats all ages equally and only places emphasis on people's abilities. Age diversity should be viewed comprehensively. It should be established within the whole diversity management rather than separately. It is important to work with older and younger people and give space to everyone, regardless of health, gender or age. Prejudices and stereotypes from the age perspective. Age discrimination is called ageism. The labor market is unequal and full of prejudices, inequality and various stereotypes which also are related to age. People around 50 plus or even 45 plus are often perceived as old persons who slow the company down, who aren't dynamic and flexible, who cannot work with computers, who don't understand modern technologies and cannot use foreign languages. There are a lot of prejudices related to people age 50 plus. If these people lose their job at this age, they can hardly find a new one, because others see them as old. However, young people face prejudices too. They are viewed as unstable and untrustworthy. In the whole Europe, there is a high percentage of young people graduate from high school and universities who cannot find jobs, although the economic situation in their country has been improving. This is mainly because of strong trade unions in that country. There is a very strong economic policy where companies behave very rigidly and are unwilling to hire new young people. These prejudices related to people age 50 plus, as well as to young people, influence the final HR policy. They influence the thinking of media, companies, some employers, recruiters, and some of these prejudices also manifest in incorrectly set personal policy in terms of recruitment, advertising, career development, and training. These prejudices are very often resulted in a personal mental barrier. These people have low self-esteem, less courage, reduced proactivity, do not trust themselves and do not apply for a position they are already qualified for, because they have already believed in these prejudices themselves. Age management, what does that mean? The age management is a tool for managing age diversity. It takes into account qualification of employees, not their age. It benefits from the fact that older and younger employees can complement each other and enrich their own experience and knowledge. The age management is the whole set of processes that must be implemented and is closely related to personal policy and human resource management. What are the main principles of age management? Good knowledge of the company age structure. Often even companies themselves don't know what is the age structure of their employees. It is important to have some knowledge about the age composition of the companies. Do companies know how many fresh graduates from universities and high schools they employ? Do companies know how many people just before the retirement they employ? Do they allow them, for example, the phased retirement? This is the main principle of age management. Other principles of the age management include equitable attitudes toward aging, good knowledge of the company average age, 
applying strategic thinking, understanding the acceptance of individual differences and diversity. Before the age management is put into practice, it is important to make a personal or diversity audit that would thoroughly map the age structure of the company and all activities related to people and age diversity. How does such age management look in practice? The training is very important, especially the training of top management. Also, the change in mindset alone is important as well as the neutral diversity optics. It is important to make educational projects also for ordinary employees and educate them so that these people know what the age diversity is about and why it is best to have a diversity team consisting of older and younger employees. We all can somehow complement each other and we can all create some added value and so much more. Mentoring is an ideal tool for promoting age diversity and age management. What is mentoring? Mentoring is an established professional tool based on trust and a voluntary approach of a mentor, a person who passes the experience and a mentee, a mentored person. Although mentoring is seen as a professional tool, we may have experienced it since childhood because there has always been somebody shaping us through their thoughts and experiences. Mentoring is perfect in companies for building the intergenerational solidarity. Mentors do not have to be only older employees. They can also be young people who have a proven experience and practice and they can lead and show a direction to older people. The influence of internal mentoring on corporate culture is undeniable. It's about trust, loyalty and it is done voluntarily. People who have been chosen as mentors by the company will get the feeling that others really trust them and they are good enough, they are the ones who can impart their knowledge to others. On the other hand, mentees are content because they are chosen as prospective employees for whom the company always wants to be the best. What are benefits of age diversity? With age diversity and with any diversity in general, the contribution to society and economy is clearly important. The full potential of both older and young people or to fresh graduates from high school or universities is used most efficiently. Age diversity is important in the context of diversity as such. And if the age management as the tool for managing age diversity is implemented well, efficiently and successfully, then the active age management and active promoting age diversity strengthens image and reputation of the company, increases loyalty, satisfaction, motivation and reduces tough turnover. It creates a good image for society, for companies and individuals. Ten important points to remember. Aging is a global problem. The European Union ages, people live longer, postponing retirement. Diversity in terms of age looks positively on age diversity. Prejudices, stereotypes related to people at the age of 50 plus. Old, slower pace, inflexible, slow to adapt, unproductive. Prejudices, stereotypes in people under 30. Young people, inexperienced, disloyal, Drifters unstable. Age management, a tool for managing age diversity. Management with regard to the age and ability of employees. Main principle of age management, good knowledge of the age structure in firm, understanding of individuality and diversity, applying strategic aging. Intergenerational solidarity. A key element in advancing age diversity, the importance of building respect, humility and esteem for the elderly. Mentoring, a professional relationship between two persons, a mentor and a mentee, mentored, which is based on trust, mentor passes his experience and knowledge. Benefits of employing people at the age of 50 plus. They have the experience, professional know-how, they are a source of inspiration and they can solve problems in broader context. Summary of benefits for businesses actively practicing edge management. The company uses the potential of all people and builds the brand of the corporate social responsibility.